All right, anyways, hi everybody. I thought I would pop in today and I would chat with you a little bit about guilt. Now I'm going to talk from a homeschool mom perspective, a working homeschool mom perspective in particular, because that's where I'm at right now. I thought I would talk a little bit about the guilt we feel um, as parents and as homeschoolers and as workers for our kids and for our life. I know in particular moms have a very bad habit of taking on this feeling of guilt about a lot of things in their life, especially about their kids and about parenting their kids and the decisions that they make. For example, um, I know often, even myself, I struggle a lot with the fact that I feel like you know, that question of, am I making the right decisions? Am I making the best choices? Are we doing the right thing? I'm as, what if I'm setting my child up for failure? What if they're not going to be able-bodied humans? What, <laughs> when they grow up, what if um, they can't get the job that they want or they don't become an active member of society? Or maybe I feel guilty because they don't really have a lot of friends and I feel like maybe I should have done something better. Um, what a, I feel guilt about not being able to give my kids the same experiences as other people can, um, whether that's because finances or because uh, our school, our homeschool can't provide the same level of interaction as the school setting can. So I don't have a band, so I don't have a lot of musical instruments in my house, or I can't take them on field trips that some schools can take them. Those kinds of things can really weigh you down. And so I thought I would talk a little bit about that today. And then something else as well. I'll talk about the other guilt chunk in a minute. But So some of the times we put those questions and those pressures on us as parents, and we don't need to. A lot of times the things that we're feeling guilty or stressed or panicking about, it's just, it's just our own insecurities coming to play. It's not that the things we've chosen or the things that we're doing are wrong or bad or going to fail our kids or are going to ruin them for the rest of their lives. It's that we have perceptions and expectations of what we think things should look like. And when things don't do that, it can really put the pressure on us to feel that extra set of guilt. Whenever we choose to do something that's outside of societal norms and expectations, there's this unwritten feeling of pressure that we need to somehow we have to compare ourselves with that. And that can lead to a lot of stress and a lot of unnecessary feelings. <laughs> I don't know if I have the best answers here for anybody because I know that I struggle with it even when I'm feeling confident and I'm doing fantastic and we're having a great year, something will pop up and it will make me feel like maybe I'm not doing right after all. Maybe I didn't make the right decisions. Maybe I didn't choose the best math curriculum or maybe our options for, high, you know, I'm going to tell you, I think that there's two major points in your homeschool, maybe three, three major points in the homeschool journey that lead to the most guilt, stress, and self-doubt kind of moments. The first is the day you decide to homeschool. <laughs> the overwhelm of guilt, pressure, self-doubt, all that is huge on the day when you first start homeschooling or you've decided to homeschooling. Okay, it's okay to feel like that because this is completely different and completely unexpected and it's not normal. <laughs> Okay, homeschooling is not normal and being different is scary. And so that leads to feeling of overwhelm, self-doubt and guilt. So I want you to know that's okay. The second time that you feel the most is when you're trying to first start with preschool because preschool feels, if you've started at the very beginning, free preschool feels huge. You've been teaching your kids all along. You taught them how to walk. You taught them how to talk. You taught them how to feed themselves. You taught them how to toilet train. You taught them how to sleep through the night. You taught them how to interact with other people. You've taught them everything, but now it's official and it's school. <laughs> school feels scary and overwhelming. And suddenly all this pressure is on you to make sure that you're being successful. And so that's why there's feelings of guilt, stress, overwhelm self-doubt. The last time that I think that you feel that same pressure is high school because no matter what rhythm that you've managed to chunk through through the other years if you've already been homeschooling for a while high school suddenly feels important like every decision that you make at this point is going to impact their life forever and you better get it right. 
At least that's how I've been feeling. And I felt like I had things under control. So as a mom with a high schooler right now, there are days where I'm like, we're good. He's learning what he wants to learn. Yeah, we might not be doing it the right, the typical way. Yeah, we might be, he might just be doing his own thing and we're not getting a diploma. And then there's moments where I'm like, what am I doing? Why am I letting him do his own thing and I'm not forcing him to do the school the way I think that should be done for high school? What if he fails? What if he can't be successful with his life after this? It's my fault. I'm not doing it right. So I just want you to know that even even experienced homeschoolers hit points, especially when you hit high school, where suddenly it feels the guilt and the self-doubt is overwhelming. So there's one word that I want to give you. The word I want to give you is trust. And this is something that even I have to work on on a regular basis. Trust. Trust yourself. Trust your choices. Trust your children. Trust that things are going to work out. The good news is, even if you mess up, even if school is a complete fail, guess what? Your kids can still learn. Your kids can choose to be active and pursue their dreams on their own outside of the traditional school concepts from age four to 18. If they get to 25, if they get to 40, do you know how many of my friends have decided to completely redecide their life and reflip their lives around at this point? The point of this is that your kids can still learn around. If they change their mind, if things don't work out at 18, guess what? They can choose when they're ready to and they can learn something else. Yeah, it might be different than the natural flow of things, but it's going to be okay. Trust is very important. And so is relationship with your children. Having that constant open conversation with your kids about what they're learning, how it's going, what they like, what they don't like, what they wish was different, what they want to be when they grow up, how can I help you, what, how do you learn best, and how can I make sure that I'm fulfilling that? How can we make sure that we reach these goals? What goals do you have? Open communication is also one of the major keys to getting rid of the guilt, getting rid of the self-doubt, getting communication with your kids can help you get that boost that you need to make sure that you're feeling confident. There's one other thing that I would like to talk about about guilt. I think that as parents, especially for parents who've had their kids in the school system where their lives have been completely regimented, especially if children have also gotten extracurricular activities and they belong to various groups, clubs, and all kinds of activities outside of the school time, family time is so minimal and so important in that kind of environment that at, when you come to the freedom of so much time together as homeschoolers, there is this underlying guilt that as a parent, I need to make sure that every moment I spend with my kid is quality and I need to be present in every single moment. If you're with your children 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to be pulled in multiple directions and you cannot be with your child every minute of the day. And not every single minute of the day with your child needs to have you involved or completely guiding every step that they do. Kids can find ways to entertain themselves and that is actually a very important life skill that you need to give them. They can, they need that freedom and space. They don't need to have every minute of their lives completely scheduled and documented out because they won't learn how to function without that. I feel it's really important for my kids in particular to make sure that I don't, I don't, I, I tell them, I, my mom has this comment, I, recreational director that's what she calls it but the point of it is that I don't need to make sure that every minute of my day with my kids is high quality super mom busy 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 I don't need to do that because when we are together all the time the times that I have intentionally set aside that are focused on my kids are absolutely focused on my kids and we have been working on relationships I don't take my kids out on one-on-one -on -one dates yeah sure that sounds fun I would love to be able to do that but it's not feasible with our lifestyle so in otherwise I have to intentionally set times in my day to do that but not every single minute of the day so get rid of the guilt that you need to be present and you need to be busy every minute of the day with your kids give each other this oop, give each other the space that you need to be free, to do your own things. It's great for your kids to see you doing something outside of mom, outside of teacher, outside of wife, mother, spouse, 
They need to see you doing things for you. So don't feel guilty about choosing something for you. Okay. So the most important thing I want you to know is one, if you are feeling guilt about anything to do with homeschooling or this adventure or this lifestyle, you do not need to think that you're alone. Lots of us have guilt. We, lots of us struggle with guilt. I don't know if it's just a parent thing, a mom thing, a homeschool mom thing, but a lot of us feel tremendous amount of guilt. Number two is to remember that trusting is very important. Trust yourself, trust the system, trust your plans, trust that it's going to work out. Remember to communicate with your kids and to give yourselves all the freedom and space to discover who you are on your own outside of the identity of mom, parent, teacher, wife, or if you're dad, the other way around. Okay. Hopefully that helps encourage someone today. I've just been feeling a lot about it lately, especially as I personally am trying to plan out our school years and I'm heading into high school with kid number two. I, that The whole guilt thing has been bouncing around in my head and I want you to know you're not alone. We're all feeling it together. Okay. Remember 2020, no fear. Talk to you later guys. Have a great day.